Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 12 of our understanding docker for windows video series and in this video I'll be talking about network isolation so before watching this part I would request you to watch part 11 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part alright so let's get started network isolation as like file system isolation and process isolations that we saw in our previous videos network isolation for containers make each container with their own network addresses and a network isolation allows each of these processes to see an entirely different set of networking interfaces and even the loopback interface is different for each network namespace and since the network isolations is a very very important concept while you work with different containers and you're going to link different containers then the network isolation plays a very very important key role and we all know that containers are completely a separate entities like a separate virtual machines running on our docker and we want to make sure that these containers are using their own network addresses as well and network isolation is really doing the great job in there and also there is a virtual dns manager in docker so that you'll also give a specific name for those network addresses for each and every containers and we can also use the name of the machine to access the particular container so remember we already discussed about these IP addresses in our previous videos. We saw something called as docker inspect and then we gave the running container ID and we got a message a lot of uh, JSON format options and we also saw the network ID and IP address, IP prefix len and IPv5 gateway something like that remember. And that's exactly what we're going to discuss in this time as well. We are going to see how each and every containers will have their own IP addresses and how these network IP addresses are really going to make useful while you work with two or three different containers to communicate with each other. So let's see this in action instead of talking more in theory. So for that, I'm going to flip to our Windows Server 2016 operating system. All right, so now I'm going to open our PowerShell and I'm going to see once again what are the images available and we have many different images the one which I'm very much interested in right now is going to be this guy the Microsoft IIS and there is something called as a Microsoft SQL Server Express Windows right so these are some of the things which I am pretty much interested in this time so maybe I'll just take this uh, the IIS for now and let's see this so docker run and then I'm gonna say D as a detach mode and Microsoft IS and why don't we just give a name as IS1 alright so right now I'm gonna spin two different uh, internet information servers two different name so let's call this as IS2 alright so now if I just do docker ps hyphen a you can see that we have two internet information servers running in here and they have the name in here like IS1 and IS2 and they're up and running right so as I already said before we can inspect these particular running containers using their container ID as well something like docker inspect and we saw something like a BBB1 right why don't we just do an IS1 you can see that we get information in here for that particular container and you can see that it has an ID it has a created by there is a path of what process being running in in there and what is the status of it the one which we are interested in is this one the network isolation technology you can see that it has an IP address of 172.27.178.140 right so now if I try to just copy this IP address and if I just open Chrome and if I paste it over here and if I hit enter you should see an internet information server page loaded and while it is loading because it's going to take some time for me I'm also going to show you what is the other containers IP address so I'm going to do docker inspect is2 and you can see that the IP address is different this time it is 172.27.177.223 which is completely different from this one right so you can see that the docker is automatically assigning the IP address for each and every container and they are completely isolated 
that's where the network isolation is coming into picture and these are completely accessible like a physical machine so you can also do a ping over here you can see that it is pinging in right and now all right it's taking so much of time but yes it, it will actually run eventually but why don't we just do something like 80 so basically we can just prove the point that it, it will have a IP address and you can ping them and you can see how these are actually working right so this is what is the network isolation but basically just keep these things in mind because while we start working with the scale out of the containers and how to deploy an internet information server in one container database server in another container and linking all these containers to make one single process to happen these kind of informations are very very important so by the time we will be actually discussing about them a lot so network isolation is a key component when coming to docker and this is really a great technology so once again guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day